What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. Today, we are not in the studio, as you can see. We're actually in the shop and we're building a couple planters. So with that, let's, let's dig in. in. As a lot of you guys have noticed, within PFR, we're starting two new PFR farms. One in Salina, Kansas, and the other one in Olivia, Minnesota, and we need some equipment for that. Yep, so right here in the shop today, building the planters for there. You know, if you think back to the last dig episode we did, we actually talked about five profitable considerations for your planter when doing maintenance this winter. We're actually doing four and a half of those five upgrades on these planters. Four and a half? Four and a half. What's the half? Well, we'll get into that here in a minute. Let's go take a look at the parts that we're throwing on these bad boys. All right, Aaron, let's get started with this four and a half because I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around the half. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. So the first one of the four and a half, you actually, you're holding it right now. I don't know if you realize oh, that. Oh yeah, the Yetter Poly Twister. Well, that's not a poly twister. That's the new hybrid one. Remember, it's a poly oh, yeah. middle, but a cast oh, ring yeah, on the yeah. outside. So aftermarket closing those, right? That was the very first thing we talked about in that video. That's one of the upgrades we're doing to these planters. All right, number two had better be two by two by two. Oh, it is. It's two by two by two, so it has to be number two. It only makes sense. And we have to be putting this on that planter. Oh, yeah. We and promote this too much to not put it on there. This specific system, too, right? Conceal by precision, precision planter. planter. That's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of good products out there when it comes to two by two by two. My personal favorite, Conceal. Can't beat it. Colin, do you remember what the third thing was? Some kind of spiky wheel with kind of a hard plastic looking thing on the outside? No, it was, it was row cleaners actually. That was the third thing we talked about. Where's the rest of it? It's only, there's part of it. The rest of it's over there in oh. the box. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, row cleaners. Gotta have row cleaners. We wanna be able to clean that furrow in front of that row unit. Yep, that's right good clean strip to clean into. All right, Colin, what do we got going on on the fourth thing here? Well, something that I think every planter should have, hydraulic downforce. I would probably agree with you on that. In my opinion, it is a must have. Yep. All right, Aaron, we're, we're through four, and I still don't know where this half comes in. The only thing that's left is high speed planting, and I don't know where you're gonna get a half out of that. Well, this is where half of, a, of our high speed planting is coming from, okay? Our precision planting V set two meter with an electric drive. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that gets us halfway there. If we wanted to do full blown high speed planting, we'd just slap some speed tubes in this thing and we'd be good to go. So that's why I say half. That makes total sense. Why don't we go see what the guys are doing? Because you know, they're the ones that are being productive, unlike us. So let's go see what they got. Let's going go check on. it out. Hey, Tyler. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Just like we're coming. Uh, you know, just, just hanging out. Horse International, huh? Yeah, so you remember that multi-hybrid, multi-road player that we had a few years ago? Yeah. We hit 400 with it down in the 400 bushel challenge. Yeah. Well, now we're taking that planter, we're repurposing it, we're tearing it apart. Not only are we gonna make one planter, but we're gonna make two, one for Minnesota and one for Kansas as well. But narrow row units? Yeah, so that's what we had on it. We might as well repurpose them. Still good to, good row units. That's a good point. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're definitely good row units. I would agree with you. Okay, well, we'll let you get back to it. You know, you were really pretty busy. Really busy when yeah. we walked up here. All so. right, see you guys. Alex, what we got going on over here? Oh, hey guys. Well, we're disassembling these platter units since they're narrow row units. We're gonna replace some of these brackets so that we can facilitate larger boxes and our other upgrades. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know we got some parts that are hopefully coming in tomorrow, right? So we're getting it all tore apart today. We'll be ready to just throw them on in the morning. Yep, as long as we get the parts. Yeah. That's the big thing. Fingers crossed. Well, we got one royal mess in here. We do. But the good news is we're probably, what, 80% down on these things? I'd say probably 80, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we still got to button up, putting on the conceal systems and the tanks on this planter and do some plumbing on this one and just a lot of odds and ends, right? But the good news is a lot of the hard part's done. Remember the last time we talked, we were missing a few pieces to be able to get the row units completely put together. 
As you can tell, we've got those now. So again, we've got our road cleaners on. We just got to finish up the conceal. We've got our closing wheel tails on. We've got the hydraulic downpour cylinder. Hydraulic on. downpour, insecticide box for our Minnesota planter. So we are we're getting pretty close. A lot of the wiring's done. Yep. Just uh, odds and ends. So this planter right here is a 30-inch planter. It's going to go up to Minnesota. A lot of the row spacing up there in Minnesota is wider rows. That's why we went with just the 30-inch up there. You want to tell them about that planter? The planter here to my left is our 15-inch planter that's going to go out to our Salina, Kansas farm. Uh, with this planter, we can actually use 15s and 30s so we can get the best of both worlds when it comes to row spacing. You know, Colin, I think it's only fitting we probably shout out some of the companies that helped us with these Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Right, we've got Yetter, um, Harvest International, and then also Schliff Precision Ag are the three companies that really came in clutch for us when it came to parts, um, getting those phone calls like, hey, we need parts right now. They were all pretty uh, pretty graceful with us on that. So. Let's not forget about our in-house fab shop. That is a very They were point. here numerous times, so Dave and his crew, we want to thank you guys for always coming in here being able to fab up just different things. When we needed to Tank mount brackets. some tanks, they were here to, to you know to be able to fab that up. When you know, mount alternators and, and all that stuff in the center of the planter, they were here to you know fab that up. So we really appreciate Dave and his guys for coming here and helping us out. Oh yeah. So I mentioned those companies that worked with us on these projects. We have links down in the description to those companies, to their websites. We also are gonna have links to some of the studies that drove us to make the upgrades we did on these planters. And so be sure to check those out. That is it for this episode of The Dig. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when we upload new videos. With that, let's wrap this one up. We'll see you again on the next episode of The, the Dig. Dig. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another edition of The Dig. <laughs> you guys like make it to where I drop this and it slices my finger off. I'm just like, ah, there's blood, blood shooting out. <laughs> Might do it unintentionally. And hit that little bell icon for future episodes of to get notifications, notifications for future episodes of the day. Yeah. Uh, for future notifications for the for the uh, hit the, hit that uh, hit that little bell icon for future ref, uh, hit that little bell icon for future for future dig videos coming down the pipeline. <laughs>